I'm here on a journey, a journey like no other, to beat RuneScape by playing one chunk at a time, full of unique grinds, crazy finds, and fun times. Who knows what's next in store? Sure, many have done it before, but not like this. This is One Chunk Man, the Falador Edition. Welcome back to another episode of this One Chunky Goodness. Last episode, we took down the Moss Giant boss and made our new best in slot staff. We killed thousands of Sour Hogs to get a Dragon Spear from the rare drop table so we can use it against the Calphite Queen. We also got 399s and level 70 prayer all at the same time and completed our prayer grind. This is the current chunk we're working on and it's time to take on the Calphite Queen. If you're wondering how we can get to the Calphite Queen in this chunk, it's through Dorgish Khan. We were able to finish the Death to Dorgish quest thanks to this chunk. Because of that we can get to Dorgish Khan via Lumbridge and through the underground network we can get to the Calphite Queen. I'm after the Dragon Two-Hander and the Dragon Chain Body from the Calphite Queen. The Two-Hander is going to be a new best in slot flinch and the Chain Body is going to be a best in slot tank. Now it's time to do a bit of prep. Fun fact! Did you know if you use Karamja Ram on Silk, you make cleaning cloth? I went ahead and got a couple of weapon poisons. Oh, we got one. We got a weapon poison. Ah, there's our other weapon poison. And I'm just going to do this for testing sake. Put some weapon poison on the rune spear. And the cleaning cloth can be used to take the poison off the spear. There you go. So I'm going to poison my dragon spear. And from the Calphite Queen, at a 1 in 25 rate, you can get a weapon poison plus plus. So I'll use one of my cleaning cloths on the dragon spear after I get that and then put the poison plus plus and that should help me damage the queen further with even more poison damage. So I've decided I'm going to get myself a bone dagger here and I got some weapon poison to put on it as well. I'm going to use that against the Calphite queen as my spec attack weapon because it's like a it's like a D tier dragon warhammer. It can reduce its defense somewhat. It uh, depends on how much you hit it, so if I hit it for 5, it'll reduce its defense by 5 and so on. So it's not very good, and the stats on it are dreadful, but it might help out a little bit. I'm also going to go ahead and make myself some super strength potions. I have some super attacks already in the bank, but I'm sure these things will help me out immensely against the Kelfight Queen. That should be a decent amount of potions to keep us going for a while. My house isn't really that useful at the moment since I don't have any really useful items like teak planks, mahogany planks or cloth, but there is one useful thing I can make here if I get myself a study. I can build myself a lectern, I'll make an eagle lectern, and I can make myself some teleports, so I'm going to go ahead and make myself a handful of these as a one-click tally away from the KQ just in case I need it. So this is going to be our setup going up against the Calphite Queen. It may evolve a little bit as time goes on, but we've got our Bone Dagger at the ready here. After we've set the Queen up in the flinching spot, we'll use the spec attack of that. We've got our Void Stuff, we've got our Dragon Fire Shield, we've got our Dragon Spear at our side to poison it, and the Hill Giant Club to do the regular flinching to get the most damage. In order to get there, we'll use a Dorgish Khan Sphere, and that'll free up an inventory space to equip the Hill Giant Club and the Dragon Spear. Our emergency tally and a super strength, super attack, and our prayer potions. The rest is food. So let's get to it. Let's get killing the queen. All right, let's get down there for our first kill. I guess I'll just run out and get the aggro of these guys. That's correct. So, okay, I want to do some tagging because I want to see their tiles. I also want this on missiles. Okay, it is definitely a little bit of figuring out I want to do here first before I jump right into it. I guess first though, let's go get the KQ's aggro. So that's that's the tile I walk to. And then after this, Calphite Guardian comes across and hits me, I go and lure the queen to the corner. Okay, she's in the spot. I want to stand here. This is the setup. Okay, this is the setup. That's great. Right, so I want the spec of this first. I guess if I'm going to do that, I need to set that up every time and change it. Like this. If that's... Okay, should we try this? I think we try this. She hit me. So I want to get some poison in. Oh, you know what? I didn't drink my supers. Do that. Dude, where's my poison? Come on, that's a 1 in 4 chance to hit it. Am I just not hitting the poison? Ever? Like when I... Oh yeah, there's the poison. Okay, sick. Okay, first phase done for the first time. Nice, that wasn't too bad. 
The good thing about this bone dagger, if you don't know the spec on it, which I'm doubting many of you do because it's a weird item, the first hit on a monster that you haven't hit before is free. It's always going to hit. Now it can hit a zero on the guaranteed hit. It can roll that. We got our first kill! I should probably put protect from melee on. Got palm tree seeds. Interesting. And a super combat potion. This is pretty much the whole reason we got the giant club too. To smack, a, smack the Kiki with it because it's our best flinch. Was such a good idea to get the poison too. Got a slayer level out of that one. And red dehyde. Nothing special. Let's get out of here again. I need to resupply. I'll be able to do multi-kill inventories eventually, but... Not at this rate. I'm gonna get a magic longbow too for the second phase because the spec attack is 100% accurate. Shoots through the defense. So we'll try that on the next kill. I'm wondering if a prayer potion is not even worth it. Oh, I did the setup wrong. I'm bailing. Fuck that. That scared the shit out of me. Nope. 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 Big nope. I'll get used to it though. I'll get. I will get used to it. Man, <laughs> the kills have been extraordinarily slow. I was expecting to kill more than this by now, but we are still in the learning phase. So wait for this one to come around, then go. Okay. Oh, 17 is huge. That takes off so much defense. Okay, so this is better too because I can use the I can use this as an indicator when that goes away. I can reflinch. Let's see how this new strat works, though, of using the MLB spec, because that should do some damage. I'll get hit, but it'll do a bit of damage. Yeah, that should help the kills along, too, along with the poison. I just got my third kill, but I wasn't recording the kill. We got weapon poison, which is awesome to get, because that's the one in 25, and that's really going to help along the kills. So if I go get my cleaning cloth out, clean the poison off the D spear and off the bone dagger... Put the weapon poison on the D-Spear and the Bone Dagger. We are plus plus now. That is going to be so good for the rest of the kills. We're going to do so much more poison damage. The poison has already helped significantly. This is going to help way more. I forgot to record that kill, but that went smoothly. The Magic Longbow is a great success. The Poison Plus Plus is a great success. Everything is going well. In the second phase for the Kalfite Queen, she has plus 100 defense for all melee styles instead of plus 10 best for crush on the first phase so i've decided in the second phase to start using the rune two-hander because its attack bonus is plus 69 which is mildly better than the hill giants uh, plus 65 on crush both of them are plus 70 strength here as well so it'll only be marginally better but it should help out a little bit nice first two kill inventory our inventory setup has drastically changed since we started Look at all the things we've got added. Started using range, so we got the arrows instead of the blessing. We've got a ring of recall now to help us out with, with a bit of damage. We've got rune 2H for the second phase. We've dropped the prayer pot from the inventory because we don't need it. So, okay. What's the, what, what am I going to do here? If I want to stay for this inventory, which I think I should, I don't want to shoot these guys because I'm on Slayer Task. I can't go back up the rope because I don't have another rope to get down. The rope will disappear if I go up. I kind of feel like I just wait for them to despawn. It works out anyway because I'll get my spec attack back. I'll get more Slayer XP from killing the Queen. Another one bites the dust. 10kc. That's awesome. These guys are going to ruin the setup every time after I've killed it. So I don't know if world hopping leaves me in the lair still. I'm going to try it. Hopefully I'm still in the lair when I'm in the new world. I am not, damn it. I don't know how to set up for the second kill then, without either killing them or waiting for them, but since I'm on the Slayer task, I really want to do the kills on the Queen, not the little guys. Maybe I'll bring more rope. Right, I'm thinking about if I need to, I'm just in the back of my mind, I can just press the tally tab on Varrock and get out of here. Yep, like now. That guy didn't get set up right. Oh, he could have if I stayed, actually, under the queen, because it moved to the side, but I think better to tally just to be sure, to be safe. Oh, sh**. Oh, sh**. What's going on? Why is that guy become non-aggressive? Maybe the little guys can trap her somewhere for me? This is scuffed. Guess this works. <laughs> 
Little guys have to trap her for some reason now. Damn it. God damn it, why? Okay. She's so low. Don't make me bail. Fucking hell. Oh, yes. That kill was so scuffed because they came Diagro. De Man, okay, wow. 40 Slayer, nice. And palm tree seeds again. Couple prayer pots, cool, cool. We get some papaya seeds and we've also finished our Slayer task. So I'm going to go to Vanica now, get a new task. Maybe try to get a Calphite task again, but for now it's time to do a little bit of Slayer. All right, let's see what our next task will be. Cave bugs. Hellhounds. Oh, can do. 42 Slayer as well. These guys are good for the XP. Cockatrice. Uh, can't do that, can I? All right, so I'm going to have to do a task skip. I'll go to birth up. Problem with doing this is I lose my task streak, but I'm just going to have to do it. Cave crawlers. Cave slimes. Easy enough. Let's do it. Ice warriors. Cockatrice again. Cannot do. Let's go change that out with Turiel. New task, please. Zombies. Uh, ice giants. Okay. We've got bronze dragons. Another task we can't do. A task skip again, please, Turiel. Bats. Kilowatts. I can do that. All right. I just got 45 Slayer. Getting up there now. I just got a Mystic Fire Staff, which is a 1 in 500 from these guys. Not bad. Green dragons. Can't do... Don't have to go skip that one. New task from Turiel is Calphites. That's what we want. Okay. Time for more queen killing. Got her. Sarabru is good. And that is a very nice spec with the bone dagger. Off goes 20 defense. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to go south, you fucking idiot. Why? Why would you go that way? You're so fucked up. He's fucked up, you fucking idiot, queen. Get a life, get a job, get a haircut. Okay, I've fixed her somewhat. Suboptimal placing, but she's still here. Hmm. Fuck, since I stepped on that tile, the, uh, the old other one of these guys walked away. That ain't good. Oh, no way. Dude, she's so low. Can you please? Oh, what a deadly kill. My god. That was so sketch at the end. And we only got rune knives. Get me out of here. Oh, damn. This is probably old news by the time this video comes out, but Jagex are talking about adding the dragon pickaxe to the drop table of the Calphite Queen. And I guess when that happens, it's probably going to be quite a while down the track. So uh, we'll keep killing it for now, but yeah, probably going to have to come back to it later. Oh, battle staff. That loot beam caught me off guard for a second. I thought it was going to be something nice. Let's kill 50, baby! And just some blood runes. I'm back here again to get a Dorgishan crossbow instead to use against the Calphite Queen instead of the Bone Dagger. Okay, so this is why we brought the Bone Crossbow for a zero spec. What the fuck? Basically, the story with the Dorgishan crossbow though is it's slightly better than the Bone Dagger. With prayers on and the supers drank, the max with the bone dagger was 20. But with the Dorgashan crossbow and eagle eye on, the max hit is 23. So slightly better. Another dead queen. 
That's the task completed. And nothing. Rune bars. Time for more Slayer now. Hopefully get another Kelfight task. What's our new task, Venica? Bronze Dragons? Cannot do. Your turn, Turiel. Rats? <laughs> oh, what? But what are we going to get now? Cave Crawlers. Okay. Next task, Venica. Trolls. Task cannot be done, so again we go back to Turiel. Kelfight task, baby! Oh, 48 Slayer. That kill was so fast too, it only took like 10 minutes. Usually these kills are taking like 15, 20 minutes. But that was so fast. Oh, don't walk that way. No, go the other way. Alright. Alright, fine. Fine, 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 fine. You like that? Yes. Look at that. Got her in the perfect spot. I walked her to it. I'm getting so much better at that. Oh, that is unbelievable. When I first started, I would have just bailed on that. But I think I know how to do that pretty well now. That's not going to f*** my kill up, is it? <laughs> it is. Seriously. Mate, that is so dumb that that ruins my kill. Just because someone stepped down here for a second. I mean, like, I get they wanted to make the change to patch the thing, but that's just such a dumb way to do it. Someone enters the cave, gets hit, and that's it. That's my kill done. That's so stupid. What happened here? Oh, did someone enter my lair? I just died, no way. Um, I don't know what just happened then. I don't know how I died then. I don't- I have literally no idea why the Guardians moved off. We're up to 75 kills now, we're sure getting there. Oh, more weapon poison. Thank goodness that is not the first drop of weapon poison I got. That's the second. The first one was in three kills. Imagine if I had to wait till now to get my weapon poison. That wouldn't have been fun. I like that I'm getting fairly consistently 3-4 kills per inventory now, that's great. Huge! 50 Slayer from that kill. I like it. This is kill 100. We don't get anything good, but I would like to show you what I have settled on now with the strategy. So let's call this the starting point in Varrock. We just teleported here from the Kelfight Queen. I run over here to this bank. And we've got the inventory set up. I run up here to recharge my prayer points. Pray. Teleport to Dorgush Khan. Pretty decent spot. Just run over to the staircase. Run through this darkness. I can make it through before I start taking damage. Got this whole tunnel to walk through, but I just click on the peak crack and that walks me the whole way around. I need to save the run energy a bit for when I get into the lair. It's important that I keep my DFS on for this soldier running by it to save from getting hit from it most of the time and the other one here. If it does hit me, it can poison me and I don't want that before I get into the lair. Rope on the tunnel entrance. Want the DFS too for these guys so they hit me less. When I'm down here, put the magic longbow on. Shoot these guys to get their aggro. They should line up pretty well. Uh, put my DFS back on for going to get aggro. Put the Dorgish and crossbow on as well. All right, I run up here, put protect from melee on from these guys, then protect from magic for the queen. We've got her aggro, run back. Get ready to eat some food, put the prayers back off. These guys are lined up perfectly. Queen comes in, click here, protect from magic on. Ready to eat again, wait for this guy to walk around this corner and through. I've been poisoned, which is a sort of shame, but that's fine. And just walk the queen forward. I need her to go this way a bit more so this guardian can fit through there. And she has. And she's set up perfectly for me to stand here for flinching. Doesn't always happen like this, but this is optimal. Set up the quick prayers. Put on the eagle eye for the spec with the Dorgish and crossbow. Zoom in for the spec. Double click. Got a very good spec. And reset those prayers with these ones for melee. Void Helm, Hill Giant Club, pot up. And we stand here and flinch for a bit until her health gets down to about halfway or a bit higher, I'm finding is best for me to start using the Dragon Spear and then get the poison. Now's probably a good time to swap over to the Dragon Spear and try to get the poison off. Got the poison early, so just swap over to the Hill Giant Club and finish the first phase. There's been occasions where I've tried to poison her at lower health and 
have gone through the whole phase without getting the poison off, which is very annoying. It makes the second phase way slower, so that's why I tend to go for it a bit earlier now. Try to avoid that ever happening. That's the first phase done, then I swap over to the magic longbow to use the spec immediately. I leave the quick prayers like this with the magic on in particular. Specifically because of this, when I attack I'm always going to get hit by the queen and it just can sometimes help. And whenever my spec comes back using that again with the magic longbow, the poison also helps so much for this second phase. It's quite unbelievable how much it does help. And that's the queen dead. We get 500 Slayer XP. Nothing great for the drop, but we head off to reset the cave. And then we do it all over again. So these kills on average probably take me like 16, 17, 18 minutes. Sometimes quicker, sometimes slower. At the start I was getting one, maybe two kills per inventory. And most of the time now I'm getting either three or four. Oh, I got the KQ head. Not bad. Was not going for it, but I will take it. Oh, no way! The Dragon 2-hander! Get me out of here. That is so good to get that first. Holy shit! Oh, mate! No way! That's so fucking awesome! Oh. oh! Oh, two kills after the KQ head, too? Oh, baby! Oh, man! No way! Dude, what the hell? That's an upgrade for getting the D chain too. That's so sick. Oh my god. Oh, that is so good to get that drop first. You're kidding me. I can't believe that. We can get rid of the rune two-hander and the hill giant club now because we have plus 80 crush, which is better than the hill giant club. And for the second phase, plus 92 slash, which is even better. So we can just switch back and forth. Smash in the first and chop in the second. Oh, baby. This is going to speed up kills so much. I like it. I like it a lot. It's so much better to get the D2H first. Like, way better to get the D2H first. It's, 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 it's two times rarer than the chain. And I got it first. That's like, couldn't ask for anything better. Yeah, I didn't even consider this either. But the melee strength plus 99 with this. Down to 76 with the Hill Giant Club. So much better. Oh, baby. Another dead queen. Oh, we got a chain body, but the wrong one. Imagine if that was back to back. Eight minute kill. Man, that one was really good then. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. I did not just get the goddamn D chain. You're kidding me. Oh, what? Oh, that's unbelievable. Dude. That's seven kills later and we've got... Oh. <laughs> We've done it. We've done the KQ. Oh my god. That's a wrap. <laughs> That's the Kelp Fight Queen done. You're kidding me. Oh my god. What the heck? That luck is insane. That is very insane luck. Oh my god. Oh, that's the KQ head, the D2H, and the D chain in 10 kills. Within 10 kills. That's it. Okay, so I'm heading into the Kelp Fight Queen lair to kill the queen one more time to attempt the back-to-back. -back. But after this, I'm done with the Kelp Fight Queen. Unless they do add the dragon pickaxe to its drop table, this is it. Are we looking for the back-to-back? -back? Not likely. That's fine. Let's just go finish the Slayer task on the workers. I'm still in disbelief that we've already finished the Kelp Fight Queen. That happened... Way quicker, way quicker than I expected. I was, I was expecting to be there for at least another two weeks. We're already done. There's not much left in the chunk now. I also think we were super fortunate to be able to kill the Kelphite Queen with every kill on Slayer Task. That got us so much XP. Thanks for watching. Next episode, we'll continue with the Slayer. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed. And I want to thank my patrons, Invalid Cards, Dan Sleeman, Affinity the Rogue, J-Lo, and Burnt Prawn for supporting the series.